Hello, everyone, and welcome to the next agenda item um, named IXP update. Maybe a few words on that first. Um, this this uh, this quick presentation was a rather spontaneous idea, and um, and thus we didn't have too much prep time this year. But um, we we had the um, the idea that we wanted to start giving all IXPs in in Germany the chance to provide a brief update. There do exist forums and reports um, on, on what's happening in the IXP community, like Euro IX reports and similar things. However, um, as far as we know, none of those are focused on Germany, and most of them are lacking information about the smaller. I access. So we thought we wanted to try to fill that gap and um, talk a little bit about those as well. So what we do, did we do? We did a quick survey. We asked 20 IXPs uh, for an update as said on very short notice. So we're actually pretty happy that uh, that seven responded. And um, yeah, now Theo would like to give you or to walk you through the responses and give a brief update on the IXPs who provided feedback. Yeah, thank you very much, Malte. So we will start with a um, pretty interesting IXP, which is the Rheintal IX, which is, I think, a multinational corporation. Uh, they activated their um, yeah, pop and constants this year as a highlight. Uh, they also extended the peering LAN to, do, to two more locations. And um, the next thing which is coming up for Rheintal AX is uh, the finalization of their backbone. So uh, they are, have a total connected capacity of two gigabits and carrying 66 megabit of traffic. And everyone who knows about the details and the odds about smaller IXPs will know that this is quite a lot of traffic for a regional platform. Next one is the Bremix, so the Bremer Internet Exchange. And um, uh, the next big thing for them is to restart the peering IXP with a new setup and new members and have a peak traffic ratio of uh, 1.5 gigabits. Yeah, then next one is Stuttgart AX. Very impressive uh, journey. Uh, congratulations to Moritz and the team. So they had 500% of growth since uh, 2020. They moved from a Cisco platform to Arista. They can now offer 100 gig ports. And for a uh, regional IXP, they are carrying um, impressive, uh, nearly 50 gigs. And then there is the Nuremberg Internet Exchange. Uh, they are highly saturated, uh, close to 100% uh, of the local peers are connected, which I think is very impressive. And uh, they will focus on stability and um, extending um, yeah, the peering platform further. Yeah, the Berlin Commercial Internet Exchange had its first outdoor uh, in-person event this year, which I think many uh, of you attended. And uh, with an impressive uh, amount of connected capacity of 4.5 terabit, they have uh, reached more than 700 gig of local traffic and were among the fast growing IXPs in Germany in the past uh, years. Then there is the IKIX, uh, or which is called Mega IX now. So, um, and they are, uh, their highlight was uh, stability and growth in COVID times. Um, they did a couple of uh, customer upgrades across metros, and um, they're also offering higher port capabilities uh, than 100 gig for now. And then there is uh, DKIX. Uh, so they have the Rua 6 life since early 2021. They have a peak of about 10 terabits in, in Frankfurt and also uh, kind of uh, peaks at their local IXs in Hamburg, uh, Munich, and Dusseldorf. And uh, I think the biggest highlight for DKIX last year was the um, uh, introduction of the self service portal where you can like perform peering related actions and ordering stuff um, uh, on your own. And it was uh, highlighted. By DKIX that uh, in the self-service portal where you can can order ports automatically, prices will be shown. So it's I'm not sure if that's what uh, what was always uh, mentioned as a price list, but it's close to it. So so we would encourage everyone to check this out and see whether there is a public price list now. It's an Next individual one, one at least. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah next year um same earlier more ixps we wanted to try this out this year and see if that's a, an interesting format so please rate the talks please also rate this talk especially and let us know whether this is a useful format if you'd like to um like us to reach out to more ixps if we should extend this format maybe um even beyond german borders uh, if that's interesting for you and also for the IXPs we reached out to, please use this. This is a sales tool for you as well. So um, give us the chance, provide us detailed feedback and detailed information about your plans and um, yeah, uh, changes and updates uh, from the past months. And this is uh, especially goes out to the smaller IXPs, even if there is not much activity going on. As long as you're alive, we're interested in hearing how things are going for you. So um, nothing is too unsignificant or, or so that it's not about the, the highest numbers. It's really about giving the community an update of what's still out there and, and what's happening. So everyone yeah, so. who operates in IXP, please feel encouraged. And also while we were researching the IXPs, which we uh, asked to provide input um, to us, uh, we were quite impressed on how many smaller IXPs there are. So this might also be interesting for network operators to learn about IXPs, which were, they were not aware of before. So uh, yeah, see each other next year for a new IXP update, hopefully.